Hello everyone. Let us um, solve this problem right away. We have square root of k to the power of 1 over 2 to be equal to square root of k. Okay, so this is um, simple. Okay, it's actually 1 over 3, right? Now, the first thing we do is trying to remove this um, power of 1 over 3. And doing that, we're going to have square root of k, okay, to the power of 1 over 3, then multiply the power by 3. Now that we introduce 3, we have to take it to the right-hand side as well. Okay, so we have this 3. But then, this and this can cancel. And now, square root of k is on the left, and it will be equal to... This square root of k here is the same thing as k to the power of 1 over 2, right? Remember, power of 3 is outside. And then we can decide to multiply what we have there, so that square root of k will be equal to k to the power of 3 over 2. That's what we have. But then, we also need to remove these um, square roots from here, right? If you want to remove these square roots from here, you can rather transfer it to the other side, or this is what it means. We have k to the power of 1 over 2, right? That is the square root of k. And to remove this now, multiply this by 2. And these 2 that I introduced will be reflecting on the right-hand side. So we have k to the power of 3 over 2 multiplied by the 2 as well. So that from here, this can cancel this, and k is now free, and it will be equal to, on the right-hand side, 2 can also cancel this 2, and we have k to the power of 3. And k, to, okay, I can just turn it around, so I have k to the power of 3 to be equal to k, right? Now, bring everything to the left, so we have k to the power of 3 minus k to be equal to 0. Now, we can factor out k because it's common. If k comes out now, here we're going to have k to the power of 2. Because before it was k to the power of 3, 1 k has come out, minus the whole of this k has come out, so 1 will be there. This is because it is k divided by k, and it's 1. This is equal to 0. Now we apply our zero product rule that says it is either k is equal to 0 or k squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Right? Now, if I have to deal with the left-hand side, we already have that k is equal to 0, and we will call this our k1. That is the first value of k. Now, we are going to get additional two values of k, right? Okay, so to get that, we will have um, to deal with this quadratic equation where we have k squared minus 1 equal to 0. By the way, this is a quadratic equation because of the power of 2. And that means that we should have two values from there, right? So, this is what I want to do k squared minus 1 is equal to 0, and this means that k squared is equal to 1. Now, we will take the square root of both sides so that this um, square will be eliminated. So, we are going to take the square root of k squared, and that will be positive or negative square root of 1. Okay? Now, the square root here and this square will cancel each other so that um, k will now be equal to positive or negative square root of 1. And square root of 1 is 1. Now, what does this mean? It means that k is equal to 1 or minus 1. Now, we have three solutions to this problem. Let's bring them together. So, we have k1 which is um, 0, we have k2, which is um, plus 1 here, which is 1, 
then we have k3 which is minus 1. Now these three solutions to the equation you know it's only two of them that satisfy the equation. Now let's go back to the original equation where we got the square root of k to the power of 1 over 3 to be equal to square root of k. If you put in 0 there, here will be 0 and it will be equal to 0 on the other side because square root of 0 is 0, root, um, cube root of 0 is also 0. Therefore, k1, which is equal to 0, satisfies the given equation. And now, if you get to the value of k2, which is equal to 1, put it in there. So you're going to have square root of 1 to the power of 1 over 3. And this is going to be equal to the square root of 1. Square root of 1 is 1, right, to the power of 3. Now, this 1 to the power of 3 also means the cube root of 1. And this will still give us 1. So it is equal to 1, which is what we have on the right-hand side. And this means that um, k2, which is equal to 1, satisfies the original equation. Now, let's go to the third solution, which is um, negative 1. So this means that we're going to have square root of negative 1 to the power of 1 over 3 right and on the other side will this be equal to square root of negative 1 because that's what we got on the other side now let's take a step square root of 1 here will give us an imaginary number which we call i so this i will now be raised to the power of 1 over 3 and this will be equal to on the other side we are having square root of negative 1 which is also i and remember, any number to the power of 1 over 3 is the cube root of the number. Here we have cube root of i. Okay. Now, this is not equal to i. So, therefore, the third solution, which is k3 to be equal to minus 1, does not satisfy the equation. Thank you for watching.